Despite missing the final four as defending champs the previous season, Panathinaikos Athens returned in the fall of 2008 with one thought in mind, taking back the EuroLeague crown. Superstars like Dimitris Diamantidis, Mike Batiste, Sarunas Yazikevichus and Vasilis Panoulis had been joined over the summer by inside force Nikola Pekovic, sharp shooter Drew Nicholas and an old friend Antonis Foxis to give head coach Jelko Obradovic plenty of weapons to choose from. Probably the best team that I coach in, in the level of the of club, the best roster, you know. Players with great experience, great quality, uh, inside game, uh, perimeter player, uh, taking possibility to play in, in high rhythm with many substitutions. Uh, no one of them selfish, no one of them thinking about, about uh, himself. We, like group, we work with excellent, great people. Going into the season, we knew we had a, you know, compared to the year before, we had a very balanced team according to the system, you know, and what uh, Coach Obradovic wanted. Uh, we were ready. We were ready uh, already for the big stage. Strong as they were, the Greens faced a first moment of truth after losing game two of the best of five playoffs at home to Montepaschi Siena. They met that moment by sweeping the next two games in Siena to return to the Final Four. And not just any Final Four. Waiting for Panathinaikos on semi-finals Friday in Berlin was its arch-rival Olympiakos. For five uh, weeks leading up to the Final Four, all you're hearing is, you know, Olympiakos, 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 you know, so... I mean, you really become, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to call it motivated, you know, it's something so much above that, you become so psyched about uh, this Final Four, and we were just uh, really, really, you know, in a, in a good place at that time as a team. Olympiakos gave Panathinaikos everything it could handle, but Pekovic broke a tie in the next to last minute, and the Greens' defence held at the finish to take an 84-82 victory. It was a great game. Uh, Olympiakos it was an excellent, excellent team. Uh, it was very tough. First of all, to play two Greek teams in, in the same Final Four, it's really tough for both teams. But we found a way to, to beat them. After its own close semi-final win over Barcelona, defending champion Seska Moscow stood in the path of Panathinaikos for a rematch from two years earlier. The Greens won the trophy by two points. This time, despite Panathinaikos racing to a 23-point lead right after half-time, the championship game was even closer. Seska put the final shot of the season in the hands of a former Panathinaikos star, Ramona Siskauskas. But in his final timeout, Obradovic put full faith in his defense. I turn and I say to my team, let's play defense because you will play good defense. Finally, they missed the shot. If, if they score, probably everybody will put finger off of myself. But this is the job of coach. Risk. Without risk, you can do it anything. But the game, it was easy for us. This is the point. 23 points, it was the beginning of the second half. We play excellent basketball. And I believe that this is, let's say, video to watch everybody, the way how we play. For Yazi Kevichus, it was another step into the history books. With his fourth title in seven seasons, he became the only player ever to become the European club champion with three different clubs. For sure, I'm very proud of it. But, you know, you have to put it in perspective. It's a, it's a team game, you know, and uh, the most important here is team and team unity, team mentality. And I was really lucky enough to, to play with a lot of great players for the great coaches. You know, a lot of times I was in the right place. You know, I like to think I did my part, but, you know, I think when you, you know, this is not tennis, you know, you're not there alone. Experience helps you. At that time, I had experience already. You have to go through it. So at that time, I've been through already many, and you know the nerves were already at, at ease, and everything was at ease, and it was just time to perform. For Obradovic, the victory in Berlin marked his seventh EuroLeague title, as many as any player or coach ever. After winning both games by one shot, it was arguably his most difficult title too. 
For me, this it was probably the best final four ever. Talking about quality of the teams, I am very happy that uh, that my team understand the way, even in critical moments, how to play.